Hi guys, today I wanted to do a video on gestational diabetes. So, like I said in my previous video, I'm, I'm about seven months pregnant now and um, I've just sort of been diagnosed with uh, diabetes. Now, my numbers were actually quite high, so I have to be really careful with um, my food intake and drinks and things of that nature. So, I, I have, uh, this is my third child. I did not have um, gestational diabetes with my previous pregnancies, but I am older now. I'm going to be 32. Um, well, not for a while yet, but <laughs> I'll be 32 in July. It's coming July. And um, my other babies were quite big. My daughter was 8 pounds 8 and my son was 9 pounds. And apparently that automatically sort of increases your chances of having gestational diabetes. So I just wanted to show you a quick video on how I actually do my blood tests for anybody out there who is interested or has just started to and they're a little bit nervous about it. I was nervous about it. I thought it was going to hurt. It really doesn't hurt. It's just like a it's like a little sting for like half a second and then nothingness. So um, I'm really lucky. I live in a country where um, my hospital provided all of my equipment for free and um, this is Australia. We, we're the luckiest country in the world. We are the luckiest country in the world. Okay, so the equipment I received was my little pack here and in my little pack I I have my um, little monitor. I also got my let's have a look my fast click little needles. So if I take that off, this little grey thing in here contains all my needles and I think six um, there's six of them all up. I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to use this in a minute too. So I got that and I also got my little testing strips, which go into the monitor. Along with that, I also got, um, a record book. I need to write down all my numbers and then at the end of the week, send them to my doctor and they keep track of everything. So, um, I need to test four times a day. I need to do a fasting test, which is first thing in the morning before I eat. So I've usually gone about 10 hours from the time I've gone to bed to the time I wake up. And those numbers have to be below 5.5. Um, I'm usually around 4.6, so I'm, I'm pretty good in the mornings. I then also have to test um, two hours after every meal. And with those numbers, they want them to be below 7.0. So I'm... I'm pretty good most of the time. Um, I'm below I'm below that. I'm usually about 5.6 or something along those lines. So I'm pretty good. So this is how I test my blood. I get my little monitor here. I turn it on. Beeps. I'm trying to get it so you can actually see it without it glaring too much. So once I've turned it on, I get my little strips here. And there's, uh, there's usually about a hundred in the box. There's a little strip. The gold bit goes in the end. And this little yellow bit down here is where I put my blood. So I, there's a little um, section at the bottom. I just insert that in there. And then I have to wait. And when this little symbol comes up, I'm ready to go. So then I get my clicker. So this is the end that the needles come out, as you can see right there. They always say to test on these three fingers and usually on the sides. And that's because the pads are full of nerves. So the more you're testing here and then you're touching things throughout the day, it can get a little bit sore. So that's why they recommend doing it on the sides of the fingers. Okay, so I'm going to use my pinky finger just here on the edge and... Um, do a test. I use this um, has a little clicker down here, and that pretty much indicates how far the needle comes out. So I guess if you've got um, tough skin, you're going to want to put it, you know, a fair bit up. Everybody's different on what their number needs to be. I usually keep mine on two. And that way, I don't ever have a test that fails because I don't have enough blood going onto the strip. 
So, like I said, I'm going to just do it on the side of my finger here, on my pinky. So I just pop it up against there. And then there's a little click it on this end. And then you just click it once. Needle goes in. A bit of a sting. And then I usually push it like that just to get a nice bit of blood. And then you always want to put it on the end of the strip where that little yellow bit is. So just like that. And that's come up quite good. So it goes waiting, waiting, waiting. And then I have a 5.6. So that's really quite good. That's after my breakfast. I'm doing a breakfast test today. This morning I just had um, a bowl of porridge. That's all I had. No milk. I made it with water. And um, I did put a little bit of honey uh, on it. But it was the smallest amount of honey. And um, it was my first time trying it with honey, to be honest. And I don't think I'll do it again just because yeah, it, it didn't really make a difference to me. Or it didn't really sweeten it in any sort of way. So I would much rather maybe go with some dry fruit next time just to put a little bit of that in there and see how that goes. All right, so 5.6. So that's pretty good. So now I need to put it in my record book. I'll show you a little sample here. That's a sample. And as you can see, I do I have messed that a little bit my first time going. Um, you just put in your numbers. So we do breakfast, before and after. And then for my remaining meals, I, I don't do a before test. I only write in my after numbers. And that's just how it is. So that's the quick and easy way on how um, women with gestational diabetes have to do their blood tests every day. Um, nothing to be afraid of. It doesn't hurt. Like now, um, the, the hole's pretty much closed up. There's no blood. It doesn't hurt. I don't have a problem with touching things, and I, I haven't really had sore fingers. And I've been doing it for just under a week now. So, um, yeah, easy peasy, <laughs> really. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope this has been informative uh, for anybody out there who um, suspects that they might have gestational diabetes or have just been diagnosed with gestational diabetes and they want to know the process on what you have to do. Um, always go to see your doctor if you're unsure. A lot of um, symptoms for diabetes is tiredness. Um, I did have that and I did sometimes if I was um, eating sugary foods I did feel a little bit funny um, after I ate them my eyes were a little bit blurry and things of that nature so definitely go see your doctor I hope this has helped anyone out there thanks for watching bye hi guys so today I'm hi guys <laughs> Oh, I'm never gonna get these videos. <laughs> All right, go on, go play. You go, shh. You gotta be quiet now. Hi guys. So today I wanted to do a video. <laughs> Jack, stop. <laughs> it's not even that hilarious. Oh my God. Hi guys. Here, go play with the mirror. Go look at Jack in the mirror. Go on then, off you go. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi. Hi guys. Alright, shh. Hi guys. Quietly now. <laughs>